Uh, well, my name is Polly Mooney and I live in Blanchettstown over in Whitestown. I've been coming to Drecht for many years. It would have started off with um, working with the Blanchettstown Traveller Development Group where we created an anti-racism quilt and contacted the staff here, which they, they hung it here in the gallery for a while and, and people still talk about it. They remember seeing it. Um, then moved on to the Euro Club, which is absolutely wonderful. They'll give people in the area an opportunity to, to view a play or a ballet, um, a, a five euro, which is incredible for people, especially people like me who are on social welfare. Um, I, I know that at least once a month there's going to be something I really want to see, and, and to save five euro a week isn't really a heartache. But I know that I can, I can come and I can enjoy and I, I can be part of something that I've always wanted to be part of. Because who didn't want to be a ballerina or a princess when they were growing up? I know I never thought that I'd get to the stage where I would be able to go to musicals and ballets and stuff like that. But Drecht has provided this, you know, because it's attainable to everybody who lives here. I've, I've since gone on to do art classes here and charcoal animation and one of the wonderful things is they put on, um, Liam Halligan is an incredible director and they put on some art, um, drama classes and um, I took part in those and um, it was absolutely, it, it just brought me into a new world, something that I absolutely loved and I thought I would never be part of. And, and from that, um, while I took sick on the second course, I wrote a play which is like 16 characters in it and everybody got to perform that on the last night. It was absolutely amazing, something I never thought I would achieve. But like I said, coming from a social welfare background, these are things that people think they will never achieve in their life. But you know what? Drek is here to help everybody do stuff like that. You just step through the doors, you're in a, an incredible world of just art, theatre, it's, it is what it says, come and feel the magic. It, 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 drought is magic and it is attainable to people out there and it's, it's very important for, for those of us who, who live sometimes on the breadline to, to push ourselves and to achieve something that is attainable to us. I just think it's an incredible place and the staff are just amazing, amazing. And do you know what? Get here if you can. Get here. It's, it's, it's the stuff that life is made of. It's, it's, it's amazing. Well, it, like I said, it, 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 it's kind of, I came in to do um, a drama class. Um, it started off, I was very nervous, didn't know what I was going to do. Um, and like I said, it, it, from Small Acorn, just from doing a drama class, I watched what was being done. I, I watched how the director worked. I looked at what he was asking for. He had asked somebody to come in and, and write something that we could perform. And... Um, that unfortunately that didn't happen but I took up the gauntlet for that and I thought you know what I'll chance it I'll see what I can do and everybody was ama I was amazed I'm sitting back on are these talking about me but from that small acorn it just boosted my confidence no end you know to create something with 16 characters in it and, and, and go on to have people and watch it being performed I thought I was living in another world it was a dream but from that small acorn I this is what developed for me a passion for writing, a passion for theatre, a passion for drama that I knew was already there, but I was afraid to take that chance. And, and that's what Drake has done. It, it's taken that small little inkling that I had and it has helped me, unknowingly, has helped me develop it into something that just is going to stick with me for the rest of my life. And, and that can happen to anybody. Come in, see the exhibitions, see the plays, see, see the magnificent ballets, the fabulous operas, the plays that are just incredible, make you laugh, make you cry. Drake is it, it's just... It's just part of my life and it'll always be part of my life now. It's, it's, it's an amazing thing that should be in every town, in every country. Um, that's what it needs to be about getting, making the arts attainable to the masses and it is attainable here.